All right, all you road flipping, back flipping stunners out there, welcome back to Wonder the Radar. And now with the Bermuda Triangle problem finally solved once and for all, folks, I think it's time for us to check out which one of you crazy stunners has the perfect solution to whatever boredom anybody has out there as we leap through a hoop of fire for another crazy edition of the wild world of stunts. And the first stunt that we have up comes from the stunner Carl Johnson 0281. And according to the maestro, it's not the Carl Johnson, it's a Carl Johnson with their said stunt, Minna Gem. And during this said crazy stunt, a guy who happened to call himself CJ, which is not the legendary CJ from San Andreas, decided to pull off a perfect front flip before going on to this crazy track him avoid giant oversized beans and even going down a crazy tubular tube. And to perfectly go through that said tube, he would do a corkscrew spiral in a slow as all hell version of a gyroscope, only to land on one of the sides of the wall with all four wheels hitting the ground just like it did during that perfect front flip. Like what, Maestro? Lighthouse Club! For him to continue to drive through this course, giving the camera the good old thumbs up afterwards. Nice! And the PR department and the maestro along with the doctors over in the corner is giving that stunt a perfect 10 along with me. And the only reason we're giving it a 10, folks, not only because it was cool, but probably one of the first stunts we've seen for this week that wasn't trapped in the Bluetooth Triangle, and we love it! Yeah, keep up the great work, Carl Johnson. And the next stunt that we have up comes from the Femme Fatales of the Skies, once again, Vinewood on fire with their said stunt, Danger Zone. And if you think they decided to use Kenny Loggins to help them out with this crazy stunt, you're right, because they would decide to take an old school World War II plane flying upside down while going through the tunnels all while Kenny Loggins serenaded them during this set stunt. And to make things even crazier folks, they would even get a Formula One car involved in the mix to ride on the walls right above the plane itself for it to land on top of the plane while it was flying upside down in the tunnels in the midst of traffic, only for the World World War II plane to fire off a couple of shots and then for the Formula One car to fall off, fall upside down and land right side up on all four wheels like what Maestro? Like a glove! For the plane to just fly right out of there, spinning right side up and flying right into the friendly skies once again. Proving to me, like always, that Vinewood on fire, these Femme Fatales are truly insane when it comes to plane flying, especially through small tunnels during rush hour traffic. And the maestro along with the PR department and the doctors are stunned and dumbfounded at the fact that the Formula One driver did not die during that stunt landing head first and then flipping back on his wheels. And the only answer we have for that, folks, is because she was wearing a helmet. So remember, safety first out there, folks. Safety first. <laughs> anyway, folks, speaking of safety, the next stunt that we have up comes from the stunner Frizzle Tooting. Or Tuning? Or Tooting? You know what? Let's go with the third one with their said stunt, Project One. And during this said stunt, Frizzles here, who likes to be called Mr. Frizzles because he's a teacher part-time, not too entirely sure of how the whole teaching thing's gonna go for him this upcoming September, but nevertheless, folks, he would decide to get on his BMX bike and go through the same tunnel that Vine went on fire did with a little less traffic than she did, and decide to do a 360 white onto the wall and just ride that wall right out until he did another 360 leaping into the air 
here doing a 50-50 grind on the side of the median only for him to jump off that rail and land on both wheels like what maestro like her love for him to just ride off into the sunset while the camera footage went black and once again phones another perfect 10 stunt and often makes me wonder how in the world on a bike was he able to defy the laws of gravity and apparently according to the maestro magic and he says this while wearing a wizard cap did you have something to do with this oh he says no right <laughs> like i believe that <laughs> and the next stunt that we have up comes from the stunner larry the lobster 69 nice with their said stunt first try aka the legend of the Becerra pilot and the reason why in the world that title showed up during the start of this stunt because it was an actual title in work in progress for the new spy movie that's coming out called my spy now i thought it was gonna be something else but my spy is work in progress and i do appreciate the title because larry here who actually decided to do this study himself without a stunt double on tape or on set decided to challenge this becerra pilot that went by the name of ace mostly because he didn't want his real name to be used for him to go to the Los Santos River to challenge this pilot like we said before and to get in a little game of chicken where Ace would barely touch the top of the head of Larry here all while he was going under the tunnels and for him to flip the plane right side up to fly away saying rats I almost got him and for Larry to say woo I did it first try I did it and said that he was gonna post it underneath that name when he posted that stunt that he completed. So that's the reason why he decided to call the stunt first try. Yeah, respect that. And we all give it a 10 just in case if you're wondering at home. And the last but not least stunt that we have up for this week comes from the stunner Sharkman 9087. Nice name by the way, with their said stunt crash now during this stunt or more or less a case of somebody in a hurry for work would see shark man trying to race his way downtown to save a kid from a burning building weaving and bobbing through cars but at the same time forgetting the golden rule of racing through traffic on a motorcycle is to always make sure that it's not raining or that you're not in danger while doing so now granted I'm not too entirely sure those are the golden rules but I got a feeling it's something he'll go by in the near future because while weaving and bobbing his way through traffic he would finally meet his match with a form of an Audi who would come from out of nowhere and hit him head on for him to slide in the opposite direction of his chrome bike for him to fall off screen into a ditch head first for his head to get stuck in a drainage pipe. Ooh. But luckily for him, good news folks, he was wearing a helmet. But where that drainage pipe hit him wasn't in the helmet. It hit him in both of his shoulders while his head got stuck in the pipe. And according to the doctors, he broke both of his collarbones in the process for this said stunt. And I do believe he means the left and right side of his collarbone, but let's just say Ooh, it's a mess. It's a bad mess and not to mention he is still stuck in that pipe as we speak Screaming in pain for him to get out of there But the doctors are not going to move him as long as he's stuck in that pipe. So they got to cut him out Seriously, so you're gonna have to cut him out of the pipe all because he decided to speed down the road well, I guess them's the brakes, and the brakes that he should have used while he was flying through traffic. And with that said, folks, if you guys want to go ahead and check out any other stunts of people getting themselves maimed for unnecessary fame, you can head on over to the socialclub.rockstargames page, only known as socialclub.rockstargames.com, and just click on that video page to check out a whole bunch of crazy stunners getting themselves killed, but at the same time having danger for breakfast. 
and I got a feeling for breakfast this week we're most likely gonna have another, you know, uh, coffee muffin instead of danger, because we want to live and not die like that guy almost did after flying off his bike going at at least 160. Ugh. And I guess with that said, folks, we might as well head back into this music once again. And when we return, we'll be back with another edition of the GTA Online Top 5 Tracks of the Week right after this. So don't get lost in the madness just yet, folks, and stay tuned. <laughs> 